just picking up on the point I think Judge Estacio, you made that happened in Peterson, that the judge started to require everything to be filed under seal to ensure that information that wasn't covered by the protective order uh, wasn't revealed in court. To me, that's almost the biggest danger of these protective orders because the, the Judge Melville in the Jackson case used basically the same protective order as in the Peterson case, and that became the, the, the system. So almost every pleading, including the indictment, was filed under seal, then the judge would have to go through and try to figure out what was and wasn't covered by the gag order, and it, it, it resulted in tremendous secrecy. And in addition, I think it's, it's incorrect to suggest that because something's covered by a protective order or gag order, whatever we're calling, that once there, we're into the, the realm of judicial pleadings, the parties have to, to uh, comply with the, that order, and it really does restrict the party's ability to argue their case. Now, if they're frivolously or in bad faith injecting things in there in a scurrilous way, that would be one thing. But beyond that, it really becomes a problem both for the litigants and for the public to understand what's happening in the case. So I would urge everyone to think long and hard about extending these protective orders that are meant to restrict out-of-court activities and speech to the filings and the arguments in court. Well, let me just say, I guess it doesn't restrict the litigants, of course, though, if you're just, if you're filing it to the court, in a motion, for example, that the court's going to decide, it's not restricting the litigants in any way. They can put anything they want in there. It's filed in front, it's filed to the judge. The judge is going to read the whole thing and make his decision anyway. So on one level, it's not restricting the, lit the litigants at all. It's, it is restricting the public's right to, I guess, view the filed documents, and that's the balancing test, I guess. I wouldn't want to take that responsibility on. <laughs> you know, that's way too burdensome to have to uh, review all of those pleadings, and, and that's why I tried to limit it in terms of information you know, that had not yet been adjudicated to be admissible or that ha was previously sealed or something. I mean, you, you've got to do some narrowing. If you do it at the outset, you, you save yourself a mountain of work because uh -huh. Uh, in, in you, you cannot predict, you celebrate any cases, yes, but you can't predict where you may get uh, requests for information, and then you have to go back and do all this winnowing and you know, carving out of, of redacted information, which is just something that could have been, with a little foresight, prevented altogether. 